When you're repurposing an article into a video or PowerPoint, it's good to have the colors and your logo in it to really give you some branding and look very professional. So once you've opened up your article in the outline format in PowerPoint, it's going to come out with something kind of like this, depending on how you uh, created the, the, for the uh, font and whatnot. So we're going to want to add some colors to that. So I'm going to go into View and then into Slide Master. And you can pick out one of the preset themes and just pick one that's similar to your website colors. Or and you want something pretty simple so that people will read the text. This one I like. Now the colors do not match my website right now or my logo. So first I'm going to bring in my logo the image and put it on the slide. You can also insert, go into insert picture, but I had it on my desktop. So I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and put it down in the corner. And now I have an idea of what the colors are. I can go back into my slide master and over here on colors. And there's a bunch of presets, so you can find one that's very similar to your website. Like this one's pretty close. And then I'll tweak it a little to make it closer to this blue. So I can go into Colors and go into Create New Theme Colors. Now this takes a little bit longer, but you only have to do it once because you can reuse this theme over and over. So this blue does not match. So I'm going to go into the blue here. You can find it just by looking around in all these different colors and see which one you want to change. So this one, there are a bunch of presets, so this color is very close. I don't love it, so I would spend some time tweaking it by going into more colors to show the palette and just playing around with it till I find one that's closer to my website colors. I won't play with it too much now because this is supposed to be a short video. So you'll just click OK when you get the color you want and you can change any of the others as well. The red is fine with me, so let's save this. And you can see now the color is very close and good enough for, for me. I can always get someone if I wanted to create something really precise. But for our purposes, we're going to be a little quicker. Now anything else you change here is going to show up on your presentation. And you'll also be able to reuse it in the future. So first I'm going to save this theme so that I can use it again. You go into Themes, then Save Current Themes. Save it under a name that you'll be able to remember and recognize. I'm going to overwrite an old one that I didn't like. All right? Now this is going to show up if I close the master view for all of my slides. So now I have branded the website. There's one more thing I want to do though, which is I want to get rid of this text box. So I'm going to go back into View, Slide Master. And this is the slide format that's you, that it's using. It's already highlighted. So I'm just going to highlight the box, get rid of it, take this title slide, and move it down so the text will all be in the middle. Now when I close the master view, I'm going to need to change the layout of all these slides. because They are centered because I moved the title. But I need to, whoops, I should not have deleted that. Let's undo that. I just deleted the wrong thing. OK. So now I want the layout. Let's make sure the layout's right. Title and text. You can see what that is. So let's make sure all the other slides have that same layout. I'm going to highlight. You just click on one, and then to highlight all of them, go to the bottom and click Shift, Enter. And now I can go into Layout and make sure they all have this layout that I just set up, the title and text that doesn't actually have the text. So there you go. Now they should all be centered and not have anything extra in them. And that's it. Make sure that you have that theme saved though so that in the future you'll be able to use it. So if you remember into Themes, Slide Master, save the current theme, give it a name, and you're done. Now, when you do want to use something in the future, you can always go into Slide Master, into Themes, and you'll see that your theme is there. And you just click on it, 
close the master view and everything will be in that theme. And that's it.